So today we're going to show you how to pair your SIG Electro Optics with your BDX rifle scope and how you go from ranging to shooting in just a few seconds. So one of the first things you're going to need to do is download the SIG BDX app. It's um, available for Android or Apple devices. Once you download that app, next step is going to be pairing your device, whether it's the SIG Kilo BDX rangefinder or the range finding binoculars. Um, you're going to click on pairing. You're going to scan for new device. Once you scan for new device, it should pop up here in the bottom. You do have to turn your rangefinder on. And once you do that, it'll pop up in the bottom. You're going to click on your, your device as well as you need to turn your scope on the left hand side here. Once you turn your scope on, that's automatically it should recognize it under your, your scope settings. You're going to choose that device. Once you do this, you're ready to bond the two devices together. Okay, once your rangefinder is paired with your rifle scope, over here on the right there's a check bonding button. You're going to push that button, you're going to make sure both devices are on, and once you do, it's going to come up between them bonded. It's going to clearly say they have connected with each other. Next on the list is your custom profiles. So this is a 280 Ackley Improved and what you can do is you can go in here and set up your new profile you can set up everything that you need for that bullet of choice so you can set up your um, ballistic coefficient the weight of your bullet size muzzle velocity everything else and once you do that you're going to save it and then you can sync that profile with your scope or with your rangefinder so in the BDX app, there are several other options for your rangefinder and your rifle scope, changing up some different reticles. But um, for now, we're paired, we're bonded, and we're ready to go. It's time to shoot and have some fun. So your SIG BDX scope is going to be zeroed like any other scope. Um, you're going to go out first thing. You're going to find your. You're going to set up your paper target. You're going to find your zero, and then in your app, whatever your settings are, that zero is going to put your first dot. Whether it's 100, 200, zero, it's going to put that dot right there at the crosshair, center of the crosshair. Also, you can use you can use this as a regular turret. So if you don't want to use the BDX system. You can use your chart just like any other rifle and um, and dial for this. Four oh nine. Like two inches left. I didn't hold for any wind though. Okay, well, we backed up to six hundred. Shot this BDX system at one hundred. 400 and now we're going to try the 600 and see if we can put it right in there with the rest of them. 597. So this was the first round at 100 right on the green dot there. We backed up to 400. A little bit of wind I didn't compensate for, but still within the kill zone of a deer. And then this is backed up to 600 yards where I compensated for the wind a little bit. But 100, 400, 600. 
today's video, we showed you the basics on how to set up your SIG BDX electro-optic system. And we had a good time shooting at distances. If you wanna know more about this system, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna have more videos coming up. Also, we wanna hear in the comments what caliber of rifle you would put this on if you would use this system. Or if you have any questions about it, just hit us up in the comments. Thanks for watching. Uh, more of this stuff is also on our website, mountainproject.com. Show a little link right here. But uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.